Hey, Sabrina and Belle. What's up, y'all? Rain the doorbell for me. What's up, D Money? Welcome to the family. Y'all welcome D Money to the family. What's up, love, Helena? What's up, Betty, Terry, Maisha, Deborah, Rochelle, T Love, Lean, Peggy? What's up, family? Y'all ring the doorbell. What's up, LaRyan? My child, hustle and bustle. Okay. Hustle and bustle. That's what it's been like. Meatloaf. What you said? Meatloaf and mashed potatoes is your favorite when it's done right. Honey, I got you, boo. Just stay right here. What's up, the bitch? A long time. Hope all is well. Yes, I'm glad you back. Good to see you back, boo. <laughs> okay, LeBron. Listen, I've been out in the rain at the grocery store trying to get some stuff. You know, but... And Davisha, I tried to email you, but my email wasn't working, and I didn't find out till late that my email wasn't working because I had too much stuff on my phone, and so I wasn't able to receive or send out emails. But I tried to email you to find out what was going on, you know. But I'm, I'm glad you back anyway, you know. And so by being so late, and when, by the time my email started back working again, I said, "Well, hell, I just wait till she come back." Well, hey, Tika. You ain't cooking today too lazy. Ain't nothing wrong with that child. Listen, I, I, I was going to cook today, but then I almost changed my mind. And I know I had posted a video for y'all already. And then I was like, but I did not want to not, you know, record this video. So I was like, let me just go ahead and go live because, you know, I ain't got no... um no enough memory on my phone to record everything that i'm about to do today so i was like let me just go on, on with my family i know they ain't got shit to do just like i ain't got shit to do so let me go on, on with them and, and and cook this dinner what's up jane though so yeah but anyway y'all so today what we about to make is thanks to finest wine shout out to him for one shout out to finest wine cooking channel y'all go over and show my boo channel some love if y'all don't know who he is he is also a chef y'all okay i'm just a cook but he's a chef but he told me yesterday i'm a chef so i'm honored to take on that title <laughs> hey, look what's up reese and alfonso boo and so, yeah, I'm honored to take on the title. So, he said on the shelf, so I ain't going to argue with him, you know. But anyway, y'all go show his channel some love. And shout out to Tracy's World. Y'all already know who she is. Um, She's already famous and just hit YouTube. I ain't mad. Elda girl, do your thing. That is... um. That's uh, Peaches McIntyre Mama. So she make her macaroni and cheese and she used like a certain kind of noodle and stuff like that. So I was inspired to, you know, by her to use the same kind of noodle that she used today. I'm still going to make my macaroni and cheese my way, but I'm just going to use the noodle. And I also never use condensed milk in my macaroni and cheese. So I'm curious to see what that's going to taste like. So that's the two things that I got from her, but this going to be my macaroni and cheese. My way is just going to be with the condensed milk and the noodles that she like to use all right so shout out to her y'all go over and show her channel some love and when y'all do leave a comment and let them know that your girl t on i can only be me sent y'all over there okay but anyway y'all ring the doorbell thank y'all for ringing it ring that doorbell anybody y'all see come up in here tell them ring that doorbell y'all know today is one of those days i ain't gonna be able to see everybody because i'm finna try to do my thug things in the kitchen you know I ain't ate yet, honey. And so, I'm going to try to go on to get all this finished. But anyway, back to find this wine. Yeah. If you don't show up, you know, within the next couple of minutes. But, uh, 
one of these little things I'm cooking today is because of you. Mm-hmm. No. Not no one. Just about the whole menu. Just about the whole menu is because of you. Yesterday was Finest Wines Mom's happy birthday. So happy birthday to you, boo. I don't know her name, y'all. But happy birthday to your mom, Finest Wine. But y'all, he had some dog on. When he was sitting there eating on his live last night, y'all, he had him some dang on macaroni and cheese, cabbages, candy yams, fried fish child honey I, that's why i had to come and, <laughs> that's why i had to come and do it for y'all child because i'm like hold up wait a minute had my whole throat just chattering child honey just sitting there looking at him i swear if i could have i would have stole his whole plate y'all and then he had the nerve to just leave it just sitting there and walk off from the camera like one nobody hungry or something just looking at it honey i know i <laughs> I know I was child. So anyway, I gotta come and make this for y'all today. So I'm making some meatloaf, candy yams, macaroni and cheese, fried fish, fried cornbread. Okay. And it's gonna it's finna be on today, honey. Your girl finna get full on top of full. You hear me? It is on, y'all. So, y'all, let's go on and get into it. Thank y'all for coming. But if you was new here, only thing I ask y'all to do is ring the doorbell. What I mean by ring the doorbell, hit the thumbs up, the like button. And also, if you was new, let me know because we, uh, over here on my channel, we welcome everybody that come here. I don't want nobody to be like, oh, she just real. She ain't even trying to speak to me. Don't do me. Because I told you. Go on and let us know so we can go on and welcome you to the family. But until you decide to, you know, because you might be sitting there thinking, oh, I don't even feel like, you know, saying that because I don't know these people over here. You ain't got to know us. You ain't got to know us to say, hey, okay. Now that's a Sunday meal, okay? <laughs> okay. So until you decide to say something, let me go on and sing you to death. All right. What's up, Shanita? Hey, y'all. It's your girl. It's your sugar. It's your honey bun. It's the only one. I can only be me. I need you to change your comments over and look over to the right hand side by the X. You will see like these little lines right there. Hit that right there. It's going to switch. It's going to ask you do you want to be a live chat or top chat. If you look over to the left hand side on your screen and it say top chat, you was in the wrong comments. I need you to be in live chat. That way we can see what you saying if you talking to us or me. All right. All right, y'all. What's up, big baby boo? I'm about to get you right, girl. About to, yeah, I'm about to get you all the way together with this Sunday dinner, girl, huh? Because, oh, uh, big baby says she ain't feeling herself too good over there, y'all. She over there nursing the, uh, uh, what you call it, a uh, hangover, child. <laughs> child, I'm about to get you together, all right? All right, y'all, come on. Get on down here. Sick as a... <laughs> what was you drinking? All right, y'all. So I got some cabbages. I got what you're going to need for this meal so far is going to be cabbages, ground beef, 
Uh, we ain't gonna worry about the seasonings right now. I just tell you that as I do it. You're gonna need you some rigatoni noodles. You're gonna need you some mayonnaise or sour cream or both. It's up to you. You're gonna need some breadcrumbs. You're gonna need you some evaporated milk. You're gonna need you some cabbage. You're gonna need some smoked meat of your choice, but I got some hollow jaw bacon. You're gonna need you some cornmeal. You're gonna also need you some sugar. You're gonna need some um, flour, self rising, all purposes up to you. You're gonna need some brown sugar. You're gonna need some syrup, some cinnamon, some uh, probably some nutmeg, some. Uh, let me see. Uh, you're gonna need you some cheese. I got this right here. I ain't never put Velveeta cheese in my macaroni, y'all. So I'm just using this today to see what I like about how I like it. Child went to the grocery store today. The shelves were empty, so I ain't have no choice but to get this cheese right here. Cause um I was not finna spend no eight dollars for no Velveeta. I'm trying to tell you. And I, I what I really wanted was the the cheese that come in a jar called double cheddar by uh Regu, I think that's the brand. That's the one I normally like to get when I'm making my macaroni and cheese, but I'm just going with this today. Y'all know Walmart brand is pretty good by, you know, making their stuff kind of close to the name brand. So that's why I got this right here. Child shelves empty. Empty. And so you're going to need you some onion. You're going to also need, um, hold on, y'all. You're going to need you some shredded cheese of your choice. I got some Kobe, Kobe Jack. This is my favorite cheese. I always put this in my macaroni and cheese, and I and I like to mix up my different cheeses and stuff like that. But uh, cheese don't went up, y'all, and I, I ain't buy. Oh, stay within your pocket size, okay? So I got me some Kobe, and then I got me some sharp cheddar. I got this right here, but I really didn't want cheddar. We ain't even gonna talk about it. But yeah, so you <laughs> y'all know y'all sugar bowl. So you're going to need that, right? So then you're going to need you a couple of eggs for what we're going to do. You're going to need you some eggs. You're going to need some mustard. You're going to need some hot sauce. I hope y'all heard all that. If you didn't, when this video over, just go back and write it all down. And then just keep on going from there because I'm going to be adding most stuff to all this. Okay. You're going to need you some sweet potatoes. So over here on my stove, y'all. I got my sweet potatoes going in the pot. I'm just boiling them, letting them get tender, but I'm not letting them get so tender where they're going to end up like mashed potatoes. I just want them to be tender enough that way when I get ready to cut them up, they're going to be fork tender, not, you know, so tender to where, you know, they going to be like mashed potatoes. I still want them to have some kind of wholeness to them when I get ready to do what I need to do to them to make this um uh, uh candy yams or whatever. So... Let me check them because I did have them boiling for a few minutes before I got on here with y'all. Okay, so I think maybe about another five, ten minutes, they might be wet, wet where I need them at. All right, y'all. So let's get down here. First thing first, what we're going to do is, let's see. We're going to start boiling noodles. We about to, um, trying to think if I'm going to cut. Yeah, I'm going to cut up an onion, cut up a few bell pepper. We're going to do all that real quick like y'all. And we're going to start getting this meatloaf mixed up and stuff so we can get that on in the oven. All right, so back up in my pot of water that these noodles don't go in, I'm going to add some salt to it. You're going to add some salt, and you want to salt your water till it's like really, really kind of like, you know, on the salty side because you're doing noodles. And, and one thing about noodles, y'all, you cannot season noodles. I don't know if anybody said that. But you cannot season noodles when they is done. You need to season your noodles while they is boiling, y'all, okay? So to that water, I'm also going to add some chicken-based seasoning. I just like to have that broth, chicken broth flavor to my noodles, y'all. So I'm just going to add some of that to the noodles back here just to get some of that flavor, y'all. All right, so now we're going to let that come to a boil. I also add um, cooking oil to my water, y'all. To keep the noodles from sticking. 
So I got that off up in now. Um, right, hold up, y'all. <laughs> Hit like a bitch. Hit like a bitch. All right, so <clears throat> let's start on let's start on the meatloaf. Then I cut up the other stuff. All right. Put me some gloves on, cause I don't want. I just don't want all that meat up on my nails and stuff so y'all know i really don't kill but i'm just gonna do it for this uh ground beef though <clears throat> y'all ran the doorbell for me one time for the one time if y'all don't know what the doorbell is the doorbell is the thumbs up the like button all right so let's start seasoning up this ground beef y'all for the meatloaf so first thing that we're gonna need for that is <clears throat> a packet of lipton onion soup mix or the dollar tree onion soup mix honey okay that's what i use the dollar tree one because you get three envelopes in here compared to buying the name brand from walmart and you only get two so we're gonna put a a a, a, a packet of this to the meat to the meat then i'm going to add some onion powder who that Damn. who i know y'all lying onion powder who that Huh? <laughs> and then I'm gonna add some black pepper. All right, so then I'm gonna add, let's see, onion powder, black pepper. Okay, so then we're gonna add us some seasoning. Hold up, let me get you, get behind you real quick, like. All right, so the seasoning that we're going to add is some other seasonings. Garlic powder. Season to your own taste, y'all. I'm just showing y'all what I use and how I do it and all that good stuff. And you just do what you want to do to it, okay? So we got the garlic powder. Then we're going to add us um a little bit of hold up, child. I'm trying to get back here. <clears throat> Oh. Okay, I'm going to add some complete seasoning. Like that. I'm going to add some Italian breadcrumbs, and that's going to be for the moisture, y'all. Then I'm going to add... Y'all, I do uh, cooking vlogs, not cooking shows for those of you that's here. So that's why y'all hear all that in the background. Because I don't do cooking shows, y'all, okay? Alright. So then I'm going to take one egg. Crack that in now. Even though I added... An egg and breadcrumbs. I still like to add a little flour to mine. So this is some all-purpose flour. Okay. Let's see. Then I'm going to add some. Oh, my seasoning salt. Looking for my seasoning salt. Hold on, y'all. We're going to put a. A little celery salt in here, just a little bit, not too much, because I don't like celery, y'all, so I'm putting the celery salt. Um, Could use celery seed, but I don't buy the celery seed, I buy celery salt, and I know how to measure. I don't put too much salt in my food, so 
That's why I tell y'all to there you go. Tell y'all to measure your food and add as much seasoning as you want to add to yours. Because we may not be using the same amount of meat. So don't now one of y'all come for me talking about oh that's too much too much salt. Don't do me. Seasoning salt. Put some of that off up in there. All right. So now we're gonna get this here mixed all up. Hold up. Wait a minute, hold up, wait a minute, hold up, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me add me a few little bell peppers off up in here, y'all. Y'all know I don't be trying to be extra, but then I'm just extra like that, so I can't help it. I be saying, I was just saying to myself, I ain't gonna put none in, no child, please. I don't know who I be kidding. But I'm gonna put me some bell pepper in here. Yeah, no problem, huh? Hey, Miss April. Okay, so now we're about to get these bell peppers here. Cut up real quick, like. And get a cup of red to go with that. And a few urns. Urn, child of the country folks say. these here off. Okay, so let's get these here cut up. <clears throat> and I'm just basically going to um, Dice these here down like that right there. And I'm gonna get all these here cut up, y'all. I need a little bowl of that. You mess around with no bag. Just dice it up. That way, you know, it'll stay in the meatloaf. What did y'all have good today? And if y'all wondering where I get these bell peppers from, I get them from Sam's Club. Well, Walmart also carry them, but I get these from Sam's Club. And the reason why, you can use the green bell pepper if you want to, but the reason why I use these is because they're cheaper. They're cheaper and I get all the colors except for green. So that should be good enough for my meatloaf. Get that off up in there.
So now we're about to get all this hill mixed up, y'all. Just like this right here. Make sure you get it all mixed in real good. Oh, shit. Damn, I dropped the whole lump of meat now. And today I'm going to do a ketchup meatloaf because I ain't had one of them in a long time. Y'all know normally I like to do the gravy meatloaf, but I'm going to do the ketchup one today. And now we're just about to shape the meatloaf. And y'all, I add egg and all that stuff, egg and flour to my meatloaf, y'all, because I actually believe that by me adding the egg and the flour to my meatloaf, that's what keeps my meatloaf from shrinking so much. So I kind of like to spread it out a little bit, kind of like in a rectangular type shape because when it cook and when I get ready to cut it, I like to have like even ends. You know, like, you know how sometimes when you cut a meatloaf, sometimes the end of it be smaller than the rest. This, even though this one still is gonna be a little bit smaller, but it don't be as small as, you know, when you shape it that other way, like a, like a little football or something. I'm going to shake mine like a football. So basically what I'm doing is I'm shaping it and I'm evening it. I want my meatloaf to be the same thickness all the way through. I don't want my meatloaf to be all wopsided and stuff. One end flat and one, one end ain't. Okay. All right. So that's the meatloaf, y'all. So now I'm about to put this in the oven on 375 degrees. And I'm going to put it on the middle rack, not the top rack, because I ain't trying to cook too fast today. I'm trying to cook fast, but, you know, I ain't trying to cook too fast. I'm going to drop the whole hunk of my meat, too, child. All right. So I'm going to get that on in the oven. All right, so the water is boiling back there. Oh, the water is boiling over here. So I'm about to get my noodles and drop them down in that in that water. those bull all right so now let's get these potatoes because i know they ready we need to get them time to cool off so that i can peel them and basically what you're going for with your potatoes is you want them to be fork tender this gonna be for the candy yams y'all see let me show you 
you want the fork to go all the way through it. It's fork tender, but it's not all the way done because it's still a little hard. But it's cool because it's going to finish cooking in the oven. So I'm going to sit these to the side and let those cool off. washed up real quick because we're going to start on this cabbage. I told y'all I do cooking vlogs so you're going to get everything on my channel y'all. y'all so over there in my pot i'm about to drop down some of this hall jaw bacon and we're gonna render off some of the fat from y'all uh i see it's 120 of y'all here if you want the ones that are not ring the doorbell ring the doorbell for me one time for the one time i am your girl here not gonna be me if y'all don't know who i am welcome to my channel if you is new i hope that you become a family member by the time the by the end of this vlog end of this cooking vlog um today what i'm making is some um, meatloaf homemade macaroni and cheese cabbages fried cornbread some fried fish and some candy yams that's what we having today y'all look i don't rain your <laughs> there your ass go look i was talking about you you is the reason they're gonna find this one y'all if y'all don't know who he is go over and show his channel some love y'all what's up lisa j and internet y'all go show his channel some love y'all <laughs> Y'all, I told y'all, he is the reason for this meal today. All that he was eating yesterday. Yes. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right, y'all. So, over here in my pot, I'm about to add some of this hot jaw bacon for my cabbages. I'm going to get y'all over here. Just let me uh get, get going real quick. So, I'm going to drop some of this. And it's just, it's salted bacon, y'all. And it's real good, y'all. I'm telling you, when this right here... When this right here cooked down in them cabbages, oh, this be, be the best part in the cabbages, I'm telling you. So I'm gonna add some of that. Child, I like to add the whole pack. Okay, so now we need to finish cutting up the bell peppers because this bell pepper that I'm cutting up now is going to go over in the cabinet. I'm going to cut up the onion too, y'all. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. So we're going to cut up the rest of these to a bell pepper, y'all. And then I'm going to show y'all how to cut up the cabbage for those of you that don't know how to cut up the cabbage. I'm going to show y'all that too. Alright, so we're just gonna get these up. Just roughly chop these up. On the, ain't, these ain't gotta be perfect because they're gonna cook down to the nice and tender anyway in the cabbages. Just gonna do a rope chop to the onion as well. So now I got my onion and my bell pepper ready to go for the cabbage. Woo. Okay, let me get y'all real quick. I'm gonna bring y'all over here. You know, tease you a little bit. Y'all know how I do y'all, honey. Look at the hell. They look tired with me, don't they? Okay. So here go the cabbage. Here go the um bacon. And I'm letting it render off some fat. I'm going to turn this down on low so it don't cook too fast. Like that right there. I'm going to take this onion and them bell peppers. And like I said, you can use green bell pepper too, y'all. Get that down in now. And we just gonna let those just start sweating slowly. I ain't gonna turn them up high. I'm gonna sweat it slowly because I gotta cut these cabbages up over here. Y'all see that though? Alright, so we're gonna let that do its thud fizzle on low. Alright, so now I'm about to cut up these cabbages, y'all. Oh, let me check my noodles. I don't want my noodles all the way done. I want them to the al dente. Not all the way done, but they is 
so I'm gonna get those. Keep y'all some um keep you some foil pins on hand. Y'all rain the dope as 161 of y'all here. If you one of the ones that did not rain the doorbell, please ring the doorbell for your girl one time for the one time. Hey, one time for the one time. Hit the thumbs up the like button that is. All right, so keep y'all some of these. I get mine from Sam's. I think they like I want they no more than ten dollars for like a whole 30 pack if I'm not mistaken, y'all. So go take the noodles. Put them in that pan. One box is good enough. Ain't nobody gonna eat this for me and my husband, but what we don't eat can go in the freezer. You feel me? Alright. So let me put a little butter on those. Keep them from sticking. Like that right there. And I'm just about to mix that butter around on them. Just like that. God dang it. Alright now I'm be on the uh, in a minute I'm gonna be doing five second rule. Okay. I don't like the way it's groceries. I'm dropping stuff. Getting that butter all over these noodles, y'all. So I got that there. So now we're gonna let that sit to the side for a second while I cut up my cabbage and then we'll work on the cheese sauce in a minute because you know I don't need to do the cheese sauce at the moment because it ain't gonna do nothing but um I don't need for it to be getting away from me. Alright. I'm going to pot out right here so it'll be ready for them. Maybe. Y'all know what? Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Mall, I'm going to wait. I'll just wait. I'll just wait because I got to cut up this, this cheese too. Okay, so... Now I'm about to cut this cabbage. I bought two of them. Probably didn't even need no two, y'all. But y'all know I just can't cook a little bit. Y'all know I can't cook a little bit. I be trying, though. That's why I bought one box of noodles. <laughs> All right, so to cut the cabbage up, you want to cut this root off the bottom. That right there. Then... You're going to take it and cut it in half to make it more manageable for you. The green leaves, if you leave the, green, the dark green leaves on yours, make sure that you cut those and cook those separately, okay? Because they take longer to cook than the lighter green ones. All right, so... I'm just going to rough chop my cabbage out because I'm not one of the ones that be, uh, okay, so you want to cut the, the root out right here. Come down like a triangle around it and it'll pop right on out of there. So that's the root. Don't nobody want that, I don't think. And I'm going to do the same thing to this one. 
Give me a knife. Okay, so now we just we could just rough chop this, y'all. You ain't gotta be just sitting there just child, honey. Who got time for all this right here? Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody trying to make no cold slow, okay? Listen, cut that cabbage on up, child. Just like that. Nice proportion pieces, okay? Then turn that thing sideways. Cut it down like that. You good to go. Ain't nobody got all day to be cutting up no cabbage. I'm running me some water over here in my sink, y'all. And I'm about to take this and put it in the water. And I'm going to put some salt in my water, too, y'all, to clean this cabbage. All right. Y'all see how thick I'm cutting this? There we go. Oh, it was stuck together. That's why I'm struggling. See how thick I'm cutting that? How many of the inches that is? I don't know, child. Okay. We ain't got time for all that right there. But, yeah, that's, that's what I got right there. Okay? So, I'm going to cut that down just like that. I know somebody, how thick that is. I can't tell you all that child, honey, because I look like a human ruler. I'm thinking I might save, I don't know, child. I was thinking of save my other cabbage, child, but I don't know, because, honey, I ain't cooking for the next couple, two more days after this. We're going to be eating on this for about three days. I ain't going to tell y'all no lie. Okay, so I'm going to go on and shower, honey. I'm going to cut that other one up, honey, because that over there in that sink don't look like enough to me. It might be enough, but I just don't know. I don't know how to, I don't know how to, I know that's real. So, Miss April, honey, we eat leftovers, okay? Okay, cut that root out. I promise you cutting it this way is not gonna change the taste. Mm -mm, I ain't never seen nobody cut no cabbage like that. Don't don't knock it for your tribe, child. I promise you the shape ain't gonna change the taste. I promise you. Now if that shape changed that taste, then the taste won't even there anyway, okay? Alright, so I'm gonna cut this one off. Do the same thing. Child, it's gonna be a whole heap of cabbage now. All right, get that dumped on over there in the sink. got my cabbage over here and basically what you want to do is add you some salt that's gonna kill worms 
and all that stuff that could be on them. You know them little, them little bugs. Get them on off of them. Put you some baking soda in there if you want to, child. Put some on it to clean it. Okay, so what I'm about to do at this point is take my cabbage and pull those thick chunks apart. You don't have to do this, but I do because if there's bugs or, you know, worms or something in between the layer, then it'll fall out. So that's why I do this, y'all. That's why I do it. Especially the thick white chunks, y'all. Especially those. Pull those apart. Pull it apart. And then that'll give you the opportunity to see if you left some root in there or something like that. You know, you can get your root on if you left some root on the cabbage. You gotta take your time with your food, y'all. Everything ain't rushy, rushy. Rushy, rushy food means that you ain't putting no love into it, okay? So, with me standing here doing all this, this is a part of that love that I'm putting into my food because I care that my food is clean. I care that all them seasonings and stuff gonna get down in this cabbage like it needs to, you know? So, put some love into your food, y'all, and I promise you, your family will love it even more. I don't know about you, now, you might not want to put the love into it because you don't want to cook you know as much well if that's your case then i don't blame your child don't put no love in there honey because i won't listen if you can get away with cooking go on get away but you're okay but if you don't mind cooking and, and you want your food to taste good and you love to hear your family tell you that your food tastes good then there is uh you know necessary steps that you need to take to you know make your food taste right just can't throw everything in a pot and think that's all you need to do you know throw a little salt and a little pepper on there because uh that ain't cooking to me you know what i'm saying sometimes you need to season your food in layers you know what i'm saying and what i mean by layers is you might need to like i'm over there cooking that bacon cook that bacon first sometimes people throw the bacon the cabbage the season all that stuff in the pot together at one time you don't do that Honey, you need to get some of that fat off that bacon first. Get a little crisp, a little crunch, you know, season that pot up. You know what I'm saying? Throw you some bell peppers and some onions. You know, that's another layer of flavor. Get your, you know what I'm saying? Hook it up, child. Honey, while they taste buds, that's what I do. So, don't never cook nothing. I'll be on show of you and you be on throw with everything, getting that together. Be like, yeah, this was that girl, Tia, like on the beef recipe. Honey, you a lie, because I know I put some. I know. I put, and, and, and they say it ain't good. I promise you, you better not put my name on that. You best not. 
Now, they say ain't got enough seasoning to it or something like that, then you know that's all right. They could throw a little salt or something on there. You know what I'm saying? But as long as they can taste all them, you know, onion powder, garlic powder, you know, whatever you throwing off up in there that make it extra delicious, but you ain't trying to run nobody blood pressure so you can put that much salt in there, honey. That's all right. But make sure your food is flavorful, honey. Telling you, some folks ain't got no taste buds, child. They swear everything be good. Oh, um, baby. I don't know who told y'all bananas and mustard is good, but you lied. Okay? They lied, y'all. Them, them folks ain't got no taste buds. All right. So now we're going to let this here sit there and soak for a second while I cut up my cheese. My cheese. My cheese. All right, so now we got to get the cutting up this cheese here for the mac and cheese. Let me check my bacon over here. Okay, it's looking real good. It don't sweat nicely and nothing burning. Okay, so we're going to get this cheese here cut up. I ain't going ain't gonna to put all this cheese in there, y'all, but I am going to. Well, dang. Did they do this to make sure ain't nobody stealing or something? Goodness, I thought the top just come off. All right, so we're going to get this here. Equate Velveeta cut up. nice and soft too yes i'm glad i oh that's that cheese oh my goodness dang i don't know if it's just me or what but honey that cheese feels nice all right so i got my pot on back there y'all um uh for the cheese sauce i'm gonna get y'all over there in just a second but I got the pot on. I'm about to take a can of this here milk. I'm going to do this right here. I make my macaroni two ways. I do it with flour and I do it without flour. This way, I'm doing it without the flour. For the ones that be like, I taste the flour, I can't get the flour right. Okay? So many people say that. I don't know what it is y'all be doing wrong with the flour. But I'm going to show you how to do it without the flour, all right? All right. So over here in my pot, I'm going to take this can of milk and get it off up in there because that's what I'm going to start melting this cheese in. Okay, I got one can over there. That's, let me turn that down on low because I don't want my milk to boil and all that stuff like that. All right, so now I'm finna cut this little cheese up into chunks that will melt down quicker. See what this here supposed to be Velveeta do to that macaroni. 
y'all normally I use like different kind of shredded cheeses if I didn't say that. Oh shoot, I'm thinking I about want to use the rest of this here. I think I'm gonna use the rest. That look like it might not add. I need me enough cheese sauce. Okay, so I'm gonna do that whole block right there, y'all. Honey, somebody finna be constipated. Okay, if you ain't constipated, your macaroni ain't right. You needs to be constipated, okay? Can't shit all week long. <laughs> okay. Cheesy, cheesy macaroni and cheese. What y'all know about that? y'all know about that cheesy microphone look at that cheese y'all you a cheese lover i love me some cheese too y'all i ain't gonna tell no story Y'all ring the doorbell for me. If you're one of the ones that do not ring the doorbell, please ring the doorbell for, for me if you don't mind. That helps spread me around and let other people know about me and all that good stuff right there. So I got my cheese. Now y'all gonna get over here to the stove. I, oh, hold on. We're gonna do the potatoes first. Then y'all gonna get over there to the stove, okay? So hold on. Just a few more minutes. We just gonna let that dust start melting down by itself right there. I got it down on low so it don't do too fast. Take another one of these cans of milk. And get it off up in there. So that's two cans of milk, one box of rigatoni, y'all. So far. So I gotta add my other cheese to this too. got our sweet potatoes here i have boiled them until they is fork tender so now we and i've let them cool so now i'm about to skin them and cut them up in just a second let's work on this uh the the sugar the, the candy syrup part of it all right so what we're about to do is, let me just go ahead, I'm going to use this pan, I'm going to melt some butter. over here. I don't know how much butter y'all. I'm going to just say if you use thick butter, just use about a stick of butter. Maybe half a stick. I don't know child. Don't start me to line. I don't measure. I just pull and taste as I go. Okay, honey, that is my slogan. Alright, so we're going to take some brown sugar right here in this pan that we're going to bake it in. And we're going 
get some of that brown sugar. Brown sugar, babe. Come on, sugar. Oh, hold on, y'all. Not that much sugar. <laughs> Not that much. So maybe like a a cup and a half of sugar, maybe. I don't know. Just get you some sugar. I don't measure. I'm an eyeball cooker, y'all. Okay. I'm going to mix just a little bit of white sugar with that. You could just do all brown sugar, but I'm, I'm just being extra. And I got something for this here, y'all. Oh, child. Okay, let's put a little bit of white sugar. Like that right there. All right, so got brown sugar. We got white sugar. All right, so now I'm going to go in with some cinnamon, some vanilla extract. Put some of that in there, y'all. You can't never have too much vanilla, child. Okay. This the imitation one anyway, child. I ain't gonna do what supposed to do it. Like, not for real, for real. Not like the real one. All right, so I'm gonna put some of that. And then I'm gonna put some cinnamon. Like that right there. Add all these right here that I'm telling you about to your own taste. Uh, Let's add just a little... Let's add a little hint, just a little hint of nutmeg, y'all. Just a little bit, not too much. Like that. All right. Then we're going to add. <laughs> Child, honey. Okay. We're going to add some of this. Now, hold on. Let me, let me stop real quick. I want you to add some butter flavor syrup y'all okay but <laughs> child honey yo sugar boo i'm about to take this thing a little step further okay a little further than just a little butter syrup child child honey y'all want to know what i'm gonna use oh baby that's gonna be so busting we got some of this uh miss michelle's gourmet butter pecan syrup y'all that's what we about to use off up in this him 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 child okay child honey y'all know these can't uh these child these sweet potatoes finna be bussing bussing so if y'all want to know where to get these from this this is you can order this off of amazon get it right there go on screenshot if you need to real quick like and it's michelle's gourmet butter pecan syrup we finna put some of that in there so we're gonna put some some of this syrup here. Child, honey, get it all on my foot. Child, honey, my hand almost had a seizure. All right, so I got that in now. Then we're gonna add this butter that's taking its own precious time here off of it. I'm gonna let the rest of that finish melting. Let me mix this here. Oh, child, honey. Child, honey, do y'all think these candies, candy candy going to be good, child? Oh, no tea didn't. Oh, getting y'all ready for Thanksgiving. Oh, ooh. Say this, say this video, y'all. That way you can come back to it for Thanksgiving or whatever, just in case I don't make my sweet potatoes like this around Thanksgiving. Because I tell y'all, nine times out of ten, I don't make nothing the same twice. Alright, so we're going to get the rest of that butter off up in there like that right there. Mm-hmm. Finish mixing that on around. Now this is the syrup for the sweet for the, for the candy yam jar. I'm gonna give this a taste to see if it's sweet as I want it. 
And if so, baby, I'm about to let it go. Uh, uh. Honey, for what is no. Yes, yes, yes. It's all right to have some butter flakes off up in there. It's going to melt. Let me get that little taste. Oh. Damn, that tastes like a cinnamon roll, y'all. <gasps> oh, these. <coughs> Now we're about to peel the sweet potatoes. And if you boil them first, it make it easier to peel, y'all. Yeah, that skin right off of the just like that, right? Ooh, 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 come through one time for the one time. One time for the one. Make sure you get the little roots off there too now. Ooh, just like that. And then I'm gonna peel the rest of these. Y'all like candy yams? <clears throat> Gonna cut that up right there. And I peel it. Like, it's a skin, but then it's like an extra thick skin, too, y'all. So, I make sure I get that, too, because I, I don't know if that's the strings or what. It might be the, some of the strings. That extra layer. I just make sure I peel both those layers. Almost like an onion, y'all. You know how an onion be. Excuse me. Okay, so now we're about to take this here and we're gonna cut these up. I like them. I feel like I feel some root. Yep. Right there. All right, so I'm just cut these here into rounds like this, and I'm gonna put them in my sauce. That's why I say don't don't cook them until they is uh you know mushy because you still want some a little just a little firmness to them so you can cut them up like this, y'all. And then they're gonna finish cooking in that sauce. It's all it's <clears throat> it's almost all the way done, but not all the way done. I'm 
and we're just gonna lay them right over there in that sauce. And if you got some that's a little harder than the others, make sure those is right down in that sauce. That way, while it cook, it'll cook them all the way through. And I'm just cutting mine a little on the thick side, almost like uh, like that, like some little patties. Cooking ain't hard, y'all. Just experiment and you'll get it. Just just experiment. As long as your food tastes good, that's all that matters, y'all. It don't matter what you add to it. If those um, um, seasonings and ingredients complement one another, your food gonna be good. If it smell good while it's cooking, it's gonna be good. If it stink, <coughs> It probably ain't gonna be good. That's how I do. If it don't smell good together, it probably ain't gonna be good together. So now we about to baste the sweet potatoes with this hill sauce. It's all right if some of them tell. It's all right. It's gonna tell when you put it in and when you get to eating it. I'm not gonna cover this with foil because they pretty much done. I'm just trying to, I'm just gonna, I'm just glazing them. You know, getting them all good in this syrup and stuff. You know, let it all come one in this big happy family reunion, food family reunion child. Okay. Tell y'all, food have family reunions, child. Everything got to get along in that family reunion. Don't nobody want no bad family reunion, right? All right. So make sure that your food be good too, honey. Put that one down in there because it's a little bit more firmer. Right there in that sauce. Like that right there. And it's going to be good, y'all. Okay, so now I'm going to take just a little bit. I know. Don't do me. Don't, don't do me. Don't do me. Just a little bit more brown sugar. Ooh. Just a little bit, just like that. It's candy yams, y'all. I don't know what y'all thought. And I keep, <clears throat> for those of you that may not know, I keep my brown sugar in a bag, in a jar that I can close. Because when you do that, y'all know how brown sugar do, it start getting hard. When you do it like this, it don't get hard at all. A little tip for the day. I'm gonna get that in the oven. get y'all down on this so y'all can see child y'all know i got to tease your child y'all know i do 
Look at that. Y'all see that? Honey, yam patty ain't got nothing on Tiana's sweet potato. Yam patties ain't got nothing on me. Okay? Nothing. Hey, y'all, 242 of y'all. Thank y'all for coming. I hope y'all enjoying my cooking vlog. Hey, Trinice. Okay, so I'm going to get this in the oven. Right down the top right as well. Let's check this meatloaf, child. Child, honey. There go the meatloaf, y'all. It don't shrunk a little bit, but not too much. So I got that. So I'm going to put that back in there just for... Matter of fact, uh, just hold on, y'all. I need a. I gotta do something real quick. I gotta get rid of my grease on here real quick. Like, hold on, y'all. I ain't got nowhere to pour that butt right here. So let me pull this grease off of it. And I told y'all I'm making a um, ketchup meatloaf today. So, I'm about to take my ketchup and, and, and just put it all over my meatloaf. And I might do this more than one time because y'all know sometimes the ketchup be sliding off the meatloaf and stuff. Child, honey, why did I forget that? I forgot to do my, my do to my meatloaf real quick, y'all. Let me uh let me cut my meat low. Hold on, y'all. Child. I gotta check my cheese sauce over here. That's why I said I was gonna wait. Okay, it's melting slowly. Just stirring it to make sure ain't nothing sticking. It's melting. I ain't got it up too high. I don't want it up too high because I got to tend to my other stuff real quick. Like, But I like to cut my meatloaf, y'all, a little bit. Because I like for that ketchup and stuff or gravy. If I'm using gravy, especially gravy, y'all. Cut it if you're going to put some gravy on there. But I cut it so that my ketchup and all that stuff can run down in between the crack, honey. Get it in the crack of this ice. <laughs> like grandma say, ice. Okay, so like that right there. We're gonna get some more ketchup so it can fall down in now. Like that. Smooth it on over. Let it run all down the side of it. And now we're just gonna put this back in the oven so it can caramelize on it or whatever it's gonna do get sticky and i'm trying to since i'm since 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 uh finest wine told me i'm a chef child i'm trying to use my chef terms child <laughs> all right put that back in the oven and let that finish doing what it do Alright y'all, so moving right along to the next best. Let's go and get started on this hill cabbage. get y'all down in there so y'all can see what's going on in this beautiful pot of uh, bacon and, and, and onions and bell peppers. Y'all got plates ready? Uh, y'all better know we getting mouth distance. This what we got going on in the pot, y'all. Y'all see that? 
Mm. You cooking your own dinner, you made Rotel different hot wings. Girls sound good, but you ain't never late, boo. Long as you show up. There you go. <laughs> so this is onions, bell peppers, and hard jar baking. And I'm finna get ready to put my cabbage over in this, y'all. All right. Never mind my dishes. That's why we do cooking vlogs over here, y'all, okay? When you do cooking vlogs, you see everything. All right. So I'm about to let my water out and run some more on this cabbage, and we about to get this cabbage over here in this hill pot. I'm not going to add no water to my pot just yet because cabbage make his own water. Just giving it one little last little rinse. I don't let the old water out, there's some new water. Get them in the pot. You're gonna have to put a little at a time, but all these don't fit. Cabbages, they shrink down. At this point, you want to fill it up, fill it up till it's running over and sit the lid on top of it like it's going to close. That's just going to help weigh it down. Fill it up, fill it up. Keep going. Take no more. Sit that on the stove. We'll come back for those in a minute. I'm gonna take my lid, just sit it up there. Just like that. Let's finish working on this cheese sauce.
girl be cooking on them. Be throwing down. All right, so we got our cheese sauce here, family. And I don't switch my eye over. We're melting this cheese here. Right there. We don't pretty much melt it down. And now I'm about to add some of my Kobe cheese to this here. And once we start putting it together we ain't really gonna have to add no seasonings to the um macaroni y'all because we seasoned the noodles really really well so i'm gonna add maybe like two things to two different seasons to it and that's it but i'm gonna show y'all what it is it ain't no seasoning they got salt though <clears throat> so i'm gonna take some of this cheese here get it down in there oh Like that right there. Get that there mixed up like that right there. And let all that melt. Mm. 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 Y'all gonna like, no, she didn't. No, she didn't. Yes, I did. Oh, man, this thing killed. Y'all look at it. <laughs> Try, honey. Just gonna let that melt. Okay. I'm gonna add just a little bit of sharp cheddar to that. So you mix together what kind of, whatever kind of cheeses that you want. Get some of that sharp in there. Probably about a cup of that. Finish getting that melted. Ooh. Ooh. Melt that around in there like that. Mm -hmm. Look it up. Mm -hmm. This how you do it with no flour, y'all. Ooh. Yes, yes, yes. Let that finish melting. Child, look at that pool. Child, look at that pool. Do Tiana got that pool? If I got that pool, y'all ring that doorbell. Hit that thumbs up, that like button one time for the one time. Everybody should hit it now because I got that pool. Let me see. Uh, oh. Okay. So I got one egg. I got one egg. I'm about to crack that. Man, like a child. She's like a grown man. You heard that, dude. In my bowl. Mix it up. And this is what's going to hold it together, y'all. Look at that. Look at this liquid gold, 
Get my egg, you know. Look at that cheesy macaroni and cheese, y'all. Cheesy. Oh, you ain't in up good enough. Oh, okay. Oh, look. Let me help you get in on so much. Uh, you in there now? All right. So, I'm going to scrape the pot. Get all that goodness up out of there. That's why it's good to have you some spatulas, child. Okay. Come on, spatula. Spatula know what to do. Okay. You, spoon ain't going to do this. But spatula, baby. Oh, spatula gonna come through for you, honey. Spatula gonna make sure you don't waste nothing. That's what I'm talking about. Everybody working together for the good. All right. Mix that up some more like that. Do that. That mix around real good. Make sure you get the mix around real good, y'all. Make sure every noodle is coated outside and in, child. Okay. Y'all know, ooh, child, honey, my hand, child. Y'all know this gonna be good. Look at that. Child, just look. That's all I want to do. Just look. Oh. Just look. Look at that, y'all. It don't make no sense to be so cheesy, do it? It just don't make no sense. But this him, 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 him. The be so just cheesy as it is, honey. Honey, this this macaroni and cheese, honey, it don't got a a, a degree, honey, in in the cheese in cheesy. Trying to get all them little holes down up in there. You know, it got a little hole to it. Get it down in there so that cheese can just melt all through it, child. Ooh. Yes. Child, I'm going to cook some cabbage and I forgot to turn the pot back up. Alright, so now I'm going to take some of my sharp cheddar. And go on top. And y'all, macaroni and cheese can be frozen, okay? And then, I'm going to take some of this Kobe. As well. I forgot to put the other two ingredients I said I was going to put, but it was going to be black pepper and some onion powder, but it's all right. It's all right. Dang, I forgot black pepper, onion powder. Dang that, I'm finna put my stuff in here. Hold up. Okay. I forgot my mayonnaise too, y'all. That's all right. Y'all know this really finna be cheesy for real. I know somebody probably like, Tiana, where your mayonnaise? I forgot my mayonnaise. Mayonnaise is for moisture, y'all. I 
I ain't gonna put no more cheese though. That's enough cheese. Now I'm gonna put my onion powder in my in my in my own. Um, in my own. Um, black pepper in them. Just a little bit of onion powder. It give it another another good layer of flavor. And then we're gonna put some of this here black pepper. Like that right there. Now I'm in there. Add a tad bit, a tad bit more milk to my macaroni. Just a little bit more. up good make sure you get that mayonnaise mixed in real good like i said you could use mayonnaise or sour cream the purpose of that is just for the moisture y'all you know mayonnaise ain't nothing but oil I ain't putting no more cheese on top. It's gonna have to be good to go just like this. I ain't trying to be stopped up the next month. I'll take next week, but not next month. Get this off in the oven. Off up in the oven. Look at them yams. So now y'all we gotta wash up a few little dishes and we're gonna start on our whole cake bread. Y'all rang the doorbell for me. Let me see if I can get the 200. I know I can get the. Y'all rang that doorbell for me. If you want the ones that didn't ring the doorbell, hit the thumbs up, the like button that is.
I'm about to push these um push this cabbage down so I can put some more in them. No seasoning yet. I like to wait till my cabbage cook down and get almost done before I start seasoning it, y'all. Because if you wait, then you end up using lesser seasoning. Let's get some oil now. Get that back on the stove. dishes real quick then we're gonna move on to the next thing y'all
Um, Anita. You can't wait to see it. Girl, it's gonna be good. Got, I got a little bit more in there. I ain't rinse all of it out. <laughs> oh! Try. You better get all your stuff out of there. Oh,
use that for some crunch toast or something. Keep from wasting my milk. You on the way? Come on, boo. Okay, let me check. Let me check um this oven real quick, y'all. Y'all know that meatloaf was not done. Was done. Look at that meatloaf. Yes. I'm gonna wrap that bad boy up. Let me check my sweet potatoes. Hold up, let me show y'all what it's looking like. Oven on 400. Look at that. Look at them yams. Let that dough finish doing what it's doing. This smells so good. I wish y'all could smell this. And butter pecan syrup in here too. Oh, just basting them again. Get them back in the oven. All right. Now, that's the meatloaf. We're going to cover that up. Some of my best fried whole cakes, y'all. It's made from nothing but flour, and meal, sugar, salt, pepper. Let's get right here real quick. Check these cabbages. Get them pushed down in that pot so they can get the cooking now. Toss that around in there, mix that bottom to the top. So, the, so nothing don't go mushy, don't nobody want no mushy brown cabbages. I'm not gonna add no water to this y'all cause it don't make more than enough water. Look at that whole jaw. All 
right, so we're gonna let that cook down a little bit more. Then we're gonna go in and add our seasonings and everything to that. All right, so now let's mix up our cornmeal. So what you're gonna need for your whole cake bread is some cornmeal. I got some butter. What is it? Martha White Self Rising Buttermilk Hot Rise Cornbread. I like this cornmeal, y'all. I would use any kind, but if I if I had to choose, I'll go with this one. So I'm gonna try to make just a little bit. And then I'll make me some fresh bread tomorrow. So that right there is good enough. Y'all, I'm learning how to make a little bit of bread. <laughs> but I ain't making how to make a little bit of nothing else. All right, so we got that. Maybe like do do you want it? Uh this is um this um self rise um, um this is all purpose flour. So you want to use about the same amount of flour that you do cornmeal. Then we're gonna throw some salt up in there to season it up a little bit. You could just add salt and that's it, y'all. Salt and pepper. And that I just put pepper. I don't know why I just do. And you just put salt and pepper if you want to. You ain't got to add nothing else but that. And your bread is still going to be so good. But I think today, y'all, I'm just going to be extra with it. I'm finna, because I love how the hush puppy tastes. So I'm just going to add me some onion powder to this and give it like that little hush puppy taste, you know. If you add onion powder to your cornmeal, there you go, hush puppies. Then I'm going to add some sugar because I like mine sweet. How much sugar? I don't know. You just got to measure how much you think that you want. Taste your bell if you want to. See if you got enough. All right. Then we're going to go in. With some milk. Now you want your consistency to be kind of thick, right? So add you a little milk at a time. Don't add too much because you want it to be thick. It got to be thick if you're going to make you some whole cake bread. So do a little bit at a time, y'all. Just like I'm doing. Hey y'all, 231 of y'all. Thank y'all for ranking that doorbell. I appreciate y'all for ranking it. If you're one of the ones that did not ring the doorbell, please ring the doorbell for me if you don't mind. One time for the one time. Hit the thumbs up, the like button that is. I'm trying to get the 200, y'all. I know I can get them. Mix that up real good like that. I'm gonna need just a little bit more. I don't know if evaporated milk is sweet, but I'm sure I'm finna use this here. I only need it a little bit. It ain't gonna matter. I put some sugar in there. All right, there we go. Whole cake bread. Got my pan heating up right here. And what you want to do is take you some oil. Put it in your pan. Put, a, put enough to cover the bottom of that pan. You got to have enough oil. Not too much oil, y'all. It does make a difference when frying bread. Because if you put too much oil, your bread going to be oily.
just enough to, to, to just to coat the bottom. That's it. I might go, you might have to keep adding a little bit as you cook the bread because the bread is going to soak up the oil and stuff. This right here, I'm gonna lay my cornbread on so it can soak up the oil. When you all get hot, you can start dropping it down. You're gonna fry them just like you make pancakes. That's a whole cake. Don't have your oil too high because your bread will fry too fast on you. So cut it down to like a medium. And drop your some down. Let it fry. I'm about to start seasoning up my uh, cabbages, y'all. So, stretch your neck a little bit, you know. There you go. That's good right there. First thing first. Let's add us just a little teaspoon of sugar. That's just to take away the little green taste. When your bread start browning around the edges, you can flip it. Smells so good. Look at that bread. Mm -mm -mm. So we got the sugar. All right. So now you can add you about one chicken bouillon cube. Just depends on how many you make it, maybe two. So I'm adding me some chicken seasoning, chicken bouillon, this chicken bouillon. Just a little celery salt. I like celery, y'all. I just don't like the celery. Onion powder. We got our bacon grease already in there from our hall jar bacon. So then I add butter. Butter going to add its own flavor, y'all. Okay, then I'm gonna add some seasoning salt. And 
And that should be it for my my cabbages. I'm gonna taste it. Once this cooked down in a little bit, we'll see if I need to add anything else. Put my lid on there and let that go for a few more minutes. When you press your bread and it feels firm and not squishy, you know it's ready. Add a little bit more oil to my pan cause I'm gonna need some more. Like I said, y'all, just a little, a little bit at a time. It don't take much meal to fry this, I mean, much grease to fry this bread. This thing gonna walk behind I and just slide. So we're gonna let that down for out. Baby, fry. This going fine on. All right. So I got my fish. We're going to fry some fish too, y'all. Let those fry. I ain't know y'all went over there. Sorry, y'all. But let those finish frying up. 
Now to my fish. I got me some swaw fish, y'all. Fish is what I'm having today and what grandma gonna have today. I'm just frying some fish because y'all. Finest wine. Finest wine. Indeed. Okay. So today I'm not gonna season up my bread. I'm just gonna use me some seasoned cornmeal. Okay, so I got my seasoned cornmeal. We're gonna need some mustard. Just trying to put that mustard all over that fish. Just like that. Then you're gonna take you some hot sauce. My hot sauce might be in here. Hold on. That's not done. Put some hot sauce on that fish, baby. And get out a good mix. And this is all we're going to put on the fish. like that and that's what you want now what I'm about to do is take my cornmeal oh let me get my bread There go that bread. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That one a little darker, but it's all right, though. That's that whole cake bread, y'all. This is my fish frying pan here, the regular one. I got a fry pot and a fish pan. I'm gonna take my fish grease. I saved my grease, y'all. Add it to my pan. Okay, so now I'm going to let my grease heat up. And while the grease, while the grease is heating up, I'm about to um, cook 
coat my fish and lay it on this plate here so it'll be ready for when the grease get hot. So. Spread that fish down. Take the excess off. Now, if y'all try this swap fish, like I tell them all the time, when you when you cook this fish, it is a certain way that you got to lay this fish in the pan in order for this fish to turn out right. Cause I'm telling you, I don't have my bad experience. With this fish, that's why I'm able to tell you. So whenever you get you some of this swap fish, this is some thick, meaty fish, y'all. And you need to lay this fish down on a certain side in order for it to fry right. I don't know why that is. It just is. Maybe that's just something I learned and y'all been new that. So the side that you want to lay this fish down on is the flaky side. There's a flaky side and there's a flat side. That side where you can see them layers, layers of layers on them, that's the side you want to lay flat down in the pan. Y'all, I got another little, it's another reason why. You haven't tried hot water cornbread? Oh. Uh, I don't think this really considered hot water cornbread. Hello, Yoko. What? Oh, they, they might be stale. I don't know. But, um, another reason why I'm frying this fish too, y'all. Because I promise you, I don't want to uh, mess up my appetite. They stale. We might can use that for some tacos too, still something. I bought some chips though for the tacos. But anyway, so I knew that the um, meatloaf wasn't going to be as big. And so that was another reason why I said I'm going to fry some fish. Because honey, that gave me an extra day if we don't eat none of it today. You know, only person going to be eating some is my husband. Me and grandma going to eat us some fish, child. Smart child. My grease looking like it's, it's, it's about, uh-oh, let's check this uh, cornbread over here. I mean, this, uh, why do I keep calling these cabbages cornbread? Check these cabbages over here. Hey, Miss Willa. Thank you, boo. What's up, Diddy and Yulani? Yes, lay it on the flaky side. So to check your meal, drop you some of the cornmeal down in there. If it starts frying, it's ready. It ain't frying enough. Oh, let me turn it up a little bit. Y'all, if y'all can smell these yams in here, oh my goodness. 
Time, uh, uh, mm, 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 mm. On time for the let's check the oil. Ah, honey, hold up, hold up, wait a minute, hold up, hold up, wait a minute, hold up, wait a minute. Get this uh, mac and cheese and see what it's looking like. Oh, the yams too. The <gasps> yams too. Damn, 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 damn. What, 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 uh, what, what? Uh, oh, this thing heavy. Oh, look at that. Look at that right there. Look at that. Dead, dead. Look at that, y'all. Look at that right there. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I ain't gonna mess with it right now. Chop. Woo! All right. Heard that fry a little bit? It's ready. Check these yams, baby. Check the yams, baby. I'm gonna lay this. I want y'all to see this sizzle, honey. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Y'all all in the way. Dang. I'm going to let y'all get some. I'm trying to steal all the food out, out, out the pans and stuff. I see y'all got to go trains ready. Ooh. Shoot. Like that right there. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Let me put these two up under here. Like that. That way they'll have something to sit on. Yeah, like that. I need y'all to see this sizzle over here. All right. Lay it flaky side down. All right, we're gonna let that fry. And while I let that fry, I turn the oven off because everything is, everything is everything. Everything is everything. Thank you, Vo. Thank you, Vo. Let's wash up these few little dishes. Call my mama, tell her come get her a plate, babe. Call my mama, tell her come get a plate. What's up, rambling homemaker? Babe. Call my mama, tell her come get her a plate. Babe, I'm 
Call Mama, tell her come get a plate. She got to come get it. Oh, I bet you she come for this. I'm about to show y'all everything. Everything is everything. Y'all enjoyed that today? Did y'all subscribe? How many of y'all hit that subscribe button? I also got a second channel. I'm sorry I didn't even mention it, y'all. But I got a cleaning channel as well, y'all. And I went over there. Um, uh, uh, I need for y'all to uh, help me. <laughs> I'm glad I do, boo. I'm glad I do. Look, so I'm going to need for uh, y'all to go over and show my second channel some love, which is Boss Up Cleaning, B-O-S-S-U-P Cleaning. That's why I put out my cleaning videos, organization, decorating, DIY, stuff like that. We don't put together a grill over there. I don't redecorated my living room and my dining room. I got more to come. I do dishes, laundry, and all that good stuff. I help you get get motivated. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Aya Sumar. How you doing? I'm doing good. So, yeah. I help y'all get motivated over there. So, y'all going on over there and show that channel some love. And when you do, uh, leave a comment and let me know that you have joined the family, y'all. Okay? So, I got something for y'all when y'all help me get monetized over there, y'all. I got something for y'all. I'm going to be doing a giveaway. And so, it ain't going to be too long. But, what you said, cleaning, ch cleaning channel, I missed it. Tiana FedEx Meal Play. I got you, internet girl. I got you. But, it's going to be expressed in just a second. Okay. What's up, Miss Gail? How you doing, sugar? So, yeah, y'all. Y'all going to show my second channel some love if you don't mind. I appreciate it if you do. If you don't mind, y'all, help me get monetized. Y'all, we got a certain time. Y'all, we got a certain time frame, y'all. God, thing ain't over this hard. Y'all, go help me get monetized over there on that channel, y'all. If, if you love me, if you care, if y'all want to, you know, see, see your sugar boo do well, y'all go and subscribe to that channel over there. If you don't mind, y'all help your sugar boo out, child. I'm trying to make it somewhere too. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, you know, get me a couple coins or two, child. I ain't trying to be working for nobody. Let me, let me go on and do my thug feels over here on YouTube with y'all while I bring y'all this good content. I know y'all like it. Help me out now. Time y'all see doggone pet a little bell or somebody make a channel y'all be running over there. So go on act like I'm pet a little bell and go on on and help me get monetized y'all. Please, if y'all don't mind. Yes, boss up cleaning. Hey Ava. So, somebody please put it in the link. Hold on. Oh, let me, ch I gotta check my fish. Hold up. I check my fish. That fish frying too slow, child. I should have had that on the other eye. Hold on, I'm about to put the link for y'all. It's Boss Up Cleaner. B O S S U P. You're going to see a pretty girl like me over there. You know, I think I had a different. Yeah, I had a different hat. I had some red plaits on my head, child. That's me. Okay, on the good day. This just the all right day. Hold on, let me, let me get it for you. I'm about to show y'all this fish and just oh somebody cash out me hold up who sent the cash out somebody somebody did it my boo came through one time for the one time hey one time for the one time hey one time thank you boo lebron you already know thank you sugar i appreciate the cash out y'all if y'all want to send a so somebody just sent some here I love you too, Brittany. If y'all want to see who is that finest one, hit that super chat if you don't mind. And my R. Kelly voice, you better know. Child, you better uh, calm down on the R. Kelly now because Tico might come and get you. Okay. Tico don't play by her R. Kelly now. All right now. So, 
But anyway, thank you, Finest Wine, for the super chat. But listen, if any one of y'all want to super chat me, don't send it to the super chat, y'all, okay? Please don't send it to the super chat. I'm tired of not getting my money, okay? So if you don't mind, please send it to my cash app, uh, dollar sign ROC, the letter N T T. Rockin' TT. So to the channel. Thank you, Miss Angela. Okay, let me put the uh the link real quick. I ain't gonna accept it yet, LeBron. Give me a minute. I'll wait till the video is over, but I thank you though. Okay, hold on. Yeah, y'all. I'm tired of not getting my money, y'all. For child of y'all. Hold on, let me get my eye over here. Child, that I say, come on, I'm ready. They doing some little strange things on here, y'all, for real. I don't know what's going on, but I'm, I'm not happy about it. I'm really, in the, I'm really not. Because I'm trying to grow, and it's like the more I'm trying to grow, the more I get knocked down. And I've been watching other YouTubers saying the same thing. I can't figure out why I can't get over a certain level. You know what I'm saying? And I know that I'm doing good. So we're going to let that fry a little bit more because it went frying too hard right here on this side. So I'm going to let that finish frying just a little bit more on that side. It's getting brown around the edges. Hey, Miss Barbara. How you doing, sugar? Hold on, y'all. Wait. Did I mess the wrong thing? Copy. Okay. About to flip my fish, y'all. It's brown around the edges. So I'm about to drop this link. This link is going to be my second channel, y'all. I'm also cleaning. Okay, hold up. Let me pin it. Come on, now. Nah. Pin, no, I'm not trying to pin it. There we go. All right, there we go, y'all. Okay, let me flip my fish over here, child. Saying. Hey, Dennis Hodge, you want to play? You want a big ass play? I got you, boo. I got you. Just stay right here. Stay right here. Y'all welcome, Dennis. I hope I'm saying your name right. If I'm not, please forgive me, honey. But I'm known for saying people's name wrong. Okay, so don't charge it to my heart. Charge it to her, honey. I just can't say it. It don't look like what it's supposed to say. Hey, Miss Marsha. Thank you, ASMR Butterfly. Thank you, Teresa Nelson. What's up, my boo? Oh, I'm buffering over here. What's up, my boo? So for tea, one time, for the one time. Hey, 
Hey, one time for the one time. Hey, y'all go my show my my sugar boo channel some love. So for T, y'all probably already know who she is, honey, cause you know she way bigger than me. But it don't matter, cause I know it's at least one person in here that don't know her, y'all. So if y'all would, y'all go over there and show my sugar boo. You ain't never late, Miss Beatrice. You ain't never late. Um, how you doing? Uh, channel some love, and when you get over there, let her know that I sent you. All right. All right, now. All right, so I need some paper towels. Ain't nobody finna waste not nail another dish. Not nail another paper towel. Not nail napkin. Them costing money, child. Okay. So them breads barely fitted on this plate. I had made it look cute. You know what I'm saying? So they done drained all they gonna drain. We're gonna just lay them on that side right there and put that fish right on that side. Come on. And we is through, y'all. Y'all ready to eat? This is Swaffle if y'all wondering. I know somebody probably don't answer it for you, but this is Swaffle You can get them from Walmart. Look at that fish. Oh, oh, fine as well. I don't finna be eating like you today. Oh, only thing I ain't got is the greens. Oh, I ain't gonna be jealous no more. <laughs> I ain't gonna be jealous no more. Okay. I'm about to eat good, y'all. Shit. Oh, oh. oh that grease. Let me move that over. My kitchen is done. I'm done. I'm gonna put this grease on his back. Back, I back up. Out the way. Yeah, hey, 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 hey. That's how you get when you be hungry, y'all. You be ready to eat, child. You be dancing to anything. No music at all. Do y'all hear some music? <laughs> Not none. Okay, let me fix the plate, y'all. Paper plate. Hold on, y'all. Hold up. I asked for 200. I know I didn't sing at 100, y'all. What's up, Carlotta? Can you put the link in there for what? The link for what, ASMR? I said the table. Come on, boo. Hey, Arnita. Good to see you, Tiana. Nice seeing you. I never try that fish. I'm going to try. Yes, go on, get it. Yes, go on, get it. You're going to love it. Just make sure you fry it right. I'm telling you, if you don't fry it right, you're not gonna like it. I'm just gonna tell I'm telling you. My mama, she don't try it herself. But when I when I fried it for her, she was like, this fish good. I'm telling you. If you don't fry it how I just taught you how to fry it, you ain't gonna like it. Cause it's just like laying it on that wrong side. It just my cash app is dollar sign R O C the letter N T T. Does it taste like catfish? No, not really. No, not really. And I could say, honestly, no, not really. Because my mom, she don't like catfish. And when she ate that, she loved it. She was like, oh, this don't taste like catfish. So, not to me. Not to me. You you really can't go by my judgment when I say that. But I'm just telling you what my mama said. You really can't go by my judgment. Because, in a way, fish tastes like fish. I know that some of y'all going to beg to differ. Okay? But 
some fish I can tell the difference and some fish I just can't. I don't think I can just tell if, if it's good or not. That's it. I just can't. I can't say, if, oh yeah, that tastes just like some crappie. Oh child, that tastes just not salmon. Yeah, salmon, you know, some fish you can do, tell the difference. But when it's just a good, let me tell you something. With this being a frozen fish, I'm putting it like this. With it being a frozen fish, that fish is so freaking good like it tastes like it comes straight up out the water let me show you what it looked like just in case you forget okay dang i had my husband take the bag outside but it's s-w-a-i swa is swa fish s-w-a-i i call it sway honey it had you sway to the side by the time you get through eating what you said you bought some bur bourbon marinade salmon today oh i never had that that sounds delicious though how you doing miss laura it's good to see you too all right y'all so let's go ahead on first of all i was finna sing to y'all thank y'all for helping me make it to 231 doorbell rings. If you're one of the ones that's in the thank you, boo. Hey, Robin. No, it don't taste like catfish. It's meaty like catfish. It's moist. Exactly, Miss Robin. And welcome to the family, too. Y'all welcome, welcome Miss Robin to the family. All y'all that's new, don't make this your last time coming now, okay? I best to see y'all again. And I don't forget nobody. It's the nails for me nice. Thank you, boo. It's about time for a new set, child. I broke one on, on my mama's birthday trying to cake them, child. Smash cake in the face. I got them, but honey, I, I lost a nail behind it. But anyway, we made it. Mm, mm. We made it. Mm, mm. We made it to 200. Do, do. Oh, we made it. Do. We made it. Do. We made it to 200. Do, do. Seven doorbell rings. I appreciate each and every one of y'all that was in the number. If you ain't one of the ones that run that doorbell, please ring that doorbell for me one time for the one time. If you don't mind, I will greatly appreciate it. Y'all don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Please don't forget to go over and show my second channel some love. What's up, Quad and CC? Set you welcome. My second channel, some love. <laughs> You sang it with me. All the newbies, come on in. Right, thank you, boo. Tell them. And, and you just go show my second channel some love. Today, my second channel is Boss Up Cleaning. It's in that link right there in the blue above y'all comments. Y'all hit it, and it'll send you right over to my channel. Y'all go ahead that subscribe button. Y'all, I'm trying to get to what you said. Loud as fuck. We made it exactly, girl. We made it. you got to be loud about that, honey. It ain't easy in this YouTube world, y'all. You got to get on this side of the camera to know what I'm talking about about but anyway welcome to the family Renard. thank you oh no you ain't new baby thank you for coming boo but anyway so y'all go on and show that second channel some love i'm trying to get monetized over there y'all the struggle is real okay if y'all don't mind please go over there and subscribe to that channel make sure you don't leave here without subscribing i hate to sound like i'm begging but goddamn i'm begging okay Child, hun, I don't work too goddamn hard and cried over these channels, y'all. I'm telling you. I done lost some hell, done stressed out, done went from damn, from crochet to dress, honey. That lets you know, honey, these channels don't stress my ass. I ain't got time for no hell. <laughs> y'all, <laughs> don't pay me no mind. I'm just a silly, y'all. That's just me and my personality. I'm bubbly like that, all right, y'all? But anyway, let's get on to plating up. This meal, child. This meal right here, honey. We need some regular plates, okay? So, I ain't gonna sing the song for y'all today. Paper plate gang. Hey, paper plate gang. We're gonna let the paper plate stay in the cabin today, all right? Babe, you ready to eat? Okay. We need some real plates, honey. 
T, I'm not new. I'm just silent. I watch your butt all the time. Thank you, boo. I'm glad you said something, though. See, that's improvement right there. You done came out the back to the front. So, hey, you new to us. Thank you for being here all that time. You done be here. I appreciate you just sitting back there watching. All right, so let's go on now. I'm going to show y'all what everything is looking like. And then I'm about to start plating this. Food up for your boot. One time for me. One time. Child, I'm hungry, child. I'm so hungry. I know I ain't gonna be able to eat that much. Be on took me a couple bites and two. Hold on, let me call. I hate if I I don't know if I hang up. Y'all, that's the link to my second channel, boss up cleaning. Let me uh call my mama real quick because I know she probably hungry, honey. She probably sitting over there looking at my child. She's like, I can't say nothing. I can't comment. I don't know. Y'all, my mama can't even comment neither. I told her she probably need to unsubscribe. And if y'all can't comment and ain't getting no notifications on my channel, y'all unsubscribe from my channel. Then resubscribe. Re make sure that you hit that notification bell. Y'all got to turn that notification bell on and make sure you set that bell to all so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. Now, if that's, if you already got that, you know, set and stuff like that, it's probably because, you know, it, it ain't on our end. It's, it's out of our hands. Only certain things we could do, we just let y'all know what to do. All right, hold on one second. Mom, you ate? Did you eat? Well, come on down here and get you something to eat. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. But yeah, y'all. So that's what you're going to have to do. Now, I know I done told some of y'all that. And y'all done did that before. And ain't nothing, it ain't work for some reason. I don't know. That's y'all. That's on YouTube. And it ain't nothing we could do about it. Only thing I can tell you is just keep trying it. Keep trying it until one day you get the notifications and you start getting and you and you can make uh, comments and stuff like that. But um, it was something else I was gonna tell y'all that I forgot. Probably wasn't that important. But yeah. So yeah, y'all do that. All right. Let me uh get my setup together right here. With all this goodness, child. Child. I'm about to make somebody mad today. Somebody's gonna be mad today. Y'all ready? Come on now, get your styrofoam plates, spoons, and cups, honey. Child, you're gonna need the cup for your slob, because that's how much you're gonna be drooling. I ain't got nothing to drink for you. You better, you better catch all that slob and put it back, okay? Oh, try that meatloaf is glorious. Hold on, let me get y'all. I'm finna start back, Miss Angela. I'm finna start back selling my seasons. I just gotta get my go and get all the stuff, and I'm gonna start back selling. Yes, I am, cause I was like, you know what? Enough is enough. I gotta get to it, y'all. So yes, I am gonna start selling my seasons again. I'm gonna try to get it out to y'all before the holidays, though. I promise y'all, I'm gonna try. All right, so hold up. Child, how long was I cooking? Been long enough, ain't it? I don't blame you. All right, so this is the cabbages, y'all, with some hot jaw bacon off up in them. Mm-hmm. And then the mac and cheese. Mm-hmm. Honey, you can't have no macaroni and cheese without the yams to go right next to it on this on the plate, child. I don't know who didn't tell you, but child, you got to have mac and cheese and yams together. Okay. 
Mm-hmm. There go them yams, homemade yams too, y'all. With that butter makeup maple what is it? With the no, I'm lying. With the butter pecan syrup in it, child. <laughs> child, honey, don't do me, okay? And then we got us some some hush puppy whole cakes. Okay, child, honey. And look at the fish, child. Child, honey, that's why I can't. Okay, got a little Cajun that's on there, but honey, if you ain't got no Cajun, you ain't doing nothing. I'm just letting you know now. All right, then here go that ketchup meatloaf, baby. Just laid the rest, honey, waiting on me. Just, ooh. Child, honey, wait till I slice up in there so I can see that little ketchup that done ran down through there. Child, honey, it's finna be on. Your mouth watering, child, honey. Did I lay it? Did I, did I do it or did I do it, y'all? If I did to do, y'all hit that thumbs up, that like button. If I did that do, y'all hit that subscribe button. If I did to do, y'all put in the comments, you did the damn do. And you better say, no, nah, don't say damn because they ain't going to make it. They ain't going to post it. Say you did to do. If I did to do, y'all. And there go them cabbages again. Y'all want me to stir in the pot? Hold up. Because I know y'all, hold up. I know y'all want to see. Let me stir in the pot for you. Stay right there on them yams and don't be getting it either. I don't, don't get not none. <laughs> don't get none yet either. You best not look at that. Look how, look, just look at it. Y'all see that cinnamon and all that stuff on there, y'all? Cha. Cha. Look at that. Try, look at that mac and damn cheese, y'all. That goddamn mac and cheese done came through and done showed the hell at Cha. Child, honey, what kind of food family reunion, baby? Okay, everything is a great combination together. You better know it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at them cabbages, y'all. Child, baby. Hold up. This the, this what you want about the... I'm trying to get it, but it want to keep falling down. It Bless you, babe. I'm trying to... Bless you, babe. Look at that. Ooh, look at that hall job. Child. Look at that goddamn, that damn. Y'all better know, I ain't come to play with y'all. I got too many people watching me for me to be coming on here half-stepping on y'all. Uh-uh, baby. Look at that. Y'all best to, you better, boo. What's up? Hold up. You bet, what's up, Miss Jackie? Hold on, y'all, let me get my plate. What you don't eat up here? Kirk, uh, what you don't eat up here? Probably everything. Uh, meat don't look good. You need meat Yeah, I look good. What is that right there? Macaroni. Uh, uh, you eat cabbage? Uh, oh, don't, 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 don't. You look like you're going to be eating a damn uh, meatloaf sandwich with a piece of bread. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, honey, after this. Get, get your, uh, here you go. John, this put me something in the bookie. Uh-uh, because I don't need for y'all to be arguing over who's or who. I'm just going to make my sandwich. I, okay, here. Yeah. What piece you want? You want a little piece or you want a piece right there? Give me a piece right there. Like, right, right there. Yeah, yeah. Y'all look how that damn ketchup done ran down on that meatloaf <laughs> like that. Y'all need to be shameless itself <laughs> just sitting up there looking all delicious like that.
Phone. Mac and cheese, cabbages, meatloaf, yams, ham, damn, 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 damn. Yes, vai vai. Yes, vai vai. Yes, vai How much would y'all pay for that? How much y'all pay for that right there? Get you a piece of foil. I think it's like forty something. Oh. All right, y'all enjoy. Tell Mama call me. Let me know what she think about it. Y'all ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Meatloaf, mac and cheese. Mm. Look at that. Cha, cha, honey. Look at that. That mac and cheese. That meatloaf, cha, oh, cha. Excuse me, y'all. Just burping. And cabbages. And that. Uh, bread right there. I ain't gonna put it on there because my husband don't like his bread on his plate. So yeah, y'all, that's that right there. Mm hmm Oh yeah. He don't eat sweet potatoes. I got the taste. Just a little cone of this here right there. That's the little piece right there. Just a little piece, you know. Got to. Y'all look at that meatloaf. Oh, so moist. 
so moist. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for this food that we're about to receive. And I ask that there be many more blessings stored upon us. And God, I ask that there's anyone in need of a meal, I ask that you bless them with one. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen, amen, amen. And amen again. Mouth distance, hold up. Oh. Look at that. Oh. God damn. I did that damn meatloaf, y'all. There you go. Get you another bite for our honey. I'm about to throw it back now. Okay. Mm. When y'all make this meatloaf, y'all gonna be in the kitchen like this. I'ma make them wanna marry me. I'ma make them wanna marry me. <laughs> that's how y'all gonna, <laughs> that's how y'all gonna be right there. I'm telling you. Okay. Dang, honey, I think I might gotta um eat that. I'm gonna take out some more meatloaf, honey. I knew I should have made some more. I'm gonna take out some more um ground beef. Cause I'm making some more meatloaf to go with this, honey. Cause Look at him. I done called mama over here, child. And it would have been enough for some leftovers. Mine, some grandma, husband for work. That's it. I'm making some more tomorrow. Show Lil's. And I'll record it for y'all. And you'll have it by itself. The meatloaf recipe. So, let me fix grandma plate. Because grandma, she don't eat macaroni. I'm the only one finna get the works. Honey, they too picky for me, child. I'm gonna get grandma two sweet potato. Ooh, look at them yams, y'all. Homemade candy yams. Who you know makes some dang on butter pecan candy yams? Who you know? Who you know? You don't know nobody that make no dang on butter pecan candy yams. You don't know nobody. But I done did it for you, though. Get grandma piece of this bread here, hold up. Get her some of that little fat out of these cabbages. Mm-hmm. That, oh, and her piece of fish, child. This crunchy fish, child. I'ma just lay it. Child, honey. <laughs> this a meal, honey. Girl, it looks so good. Ooh. The meal says it by itself. I know I ain't got to say nothing, honey. Just look at it. Go on, get you some. Just look at it. Look at them damn yams on there. And in that. Look, look at look at that hall jaw bacon right there, y'all. Cabbage. Oh, look at that piece of fish just sitting there, just so delectable. <laughs> and that whole cake hush puppy bread. Look at that. Ooh. Oh, child, honey. Oh, yes, yeah, beautiful. Right there. Go on, on. Go on, get you some now. There you go. Hold up. Let me go on and take grandma this. Y'all want to see what grandma got to say? I ain't got time. Uh-uh. No. I don't even know why I asked you. Uh-uh. Not today. Don't worry about what I was going to say. I'm going to let y'all know right now. I'm going to leave the door open. And as she tastes the food, y'all just listen to her. Y'all know grandma going to tell you, child. Hold up. Grandma, 
Tell them, okay? Tell them what your food tastes like. All right, let me get my plate. Turn on. Fish right. Oh, gotta put the yams. Oh, child, hold up. I gotta put the yams right here by these sweet potatoes. Got to. I mean, the sweet potatoes right here by the macaroni is what I'm trying. Oh, oh, child, honey, just make a mistake, child, and just drop them right there on there, child. Child, get that fish on them. Get one of these little hush puppies. Okay. Oh. Cha. Good luck. It'll make you cry when it's good. Told you put some love in your food. <coughs> Good love will make you cry. It'll make you cry. Y'all ready? Mac and cheese, child. Let's go on in for some of that. Ooh, there you go. Look at that cheesy. Oh, cheesy, ooh, cheesy wheezy. Oh, look, I gotta put some of these candy yams. Hold on, let me eat it by the child. Child, child, I'm so excited to eat, honey. I don't know what I wanna eat first, child. I'm trying to eat it all at the same time. Here you go. Look at that little yam on there, child. Mm. Y'all, this damn, this him, y'all, here you go. <clears throat> And it ain't too sweet, y'all. Child, I got to take y'all in there with grandma. I got to get a review for, from her for real. Child, let me. Let's get some cabbages. Oh, look at the fat child. Oh, there you go. The heart. Oh, oh. Won't play won't play in the microwave. Mm. Y'all, it just disintegrated. <laughs> no traces of it. <clears throat> I promise you. Okay. Mm. 
busting. Plate so heavy, got my arm hurting. Try. Hold up. Mmm. Mmm. One bite. Child, we gotta taste the fish. Oh. Child, my soul been wanting this. <laughs> okay. Look at that fish, y'all. So crispy. Mmm. Child, let's bite the big end. Okay, cause we greedy. Child. What's up, Brosia? Mmm, let me turn this around, child. If I have some fish chips on top of the cabbage. Mmm. This don't make no damn sense. Hmm. Look at that. I mean, for real. Hold up. Y'all. Hold on. Grandma said her fish too crunchy, y'all. <clears throat> oh. Don't do me, Grandma. <sighs> Come on. They want to know how the food tastes. Y'all going Grandma, y'all? <laughs> Oh, that's a hell to the no. <laughs> go, go, grandma. No. Please taste them yams for them. Yeah. Please taste them yams. Please. Yes, please taste them that, yams. That, that, good. that is yams, girl. Well, it is good. Mm. I can have some of that. Mm. Child, let them know, child. Grandma. They say, hey, grandma, with your beautiful self. Hey, now. Grandma, they say, you show cut a step. On mama's birthday. Oh, they seen you. I mm. had so many. Because I put you up there for them to see you. They oh, say, Grandma, man. no, she was shaking her tail feather. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They say, Grandma, we're getting down, getting down. <laughs> Thank y'all. Mm. That's the way Grandma dance. You taste that butter pecan flavor now? Mm -hmm. You like that flavor? Is that the best can of yams you ever had or no? Mm -hmm. <laughs> taste, the, taste the cabbage, Grandma. Grandma, we ain't going to have you try the uh, fish on camera. You, I know it's a little hard for you. And, and you know, Grandma ain't got no teeth, y'all. So we're going to let her struggle with her fish in peace, okay? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay. Taste your um taste that um cornbread. But the yam the best. Mm-hmm. All look good. Cornbread good. Cornbread good, ain't it? Mm-hmm. Tastes like a little hush puppet on it. Mm-hmm. I put a little onion powder up in there. Mm. All right, I'm going to leave you a piece. I'll bring you a soda in a minute. Okay. Oh. 
Oh, excuse me, y'all. Let me go on on and finish eating before oh, my food hit the bottom and think, I ain't think I'm through because I ain't through, y'all. I, I got to go and, uh, babe. Babe. What you think about the macaroni? Huh? You ain't ate nothing? You don't know. We can't never get no damn reaction out of him and shit. We ain't got time for him. Ah, damn. But when I when I become that millionaire, his ass gonna be all on the camera. Mm -hmm, babe. Ain't nobody gonna be studying him then, y'all. <laughs> all right, y'all. So I love y'all. Peace, love, and many, many blessings to each and every one of y'all. Thank y'all for coming here with me and making all this cooking a little bit more easier. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope y'all subscribed. And I hope that you went over to my second channel and subscribed to my second channel. Boss Up Cleaning, that is. The, is right there in that link right there in the blue, y'all. Go on and hit that right there. Email your are still waiting on the sip and paint, Missy. I got you, though. I got you. I got you. I got you. I ain't forgot. So, anyway, I love y'all. Y'all have a good one. And I will see you in the next, 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 next video. In the next video. I love y'all. Mm -hmm. And sugar. Mwah. Peace, y'all. I'll see y'all tomorrow with a pre-recorded video. 7 o'clock p.m. Central Time if you're new every day. Come on now. I guess he ain't ready to go, y'all. Child, yeah, we done song the song and all, Miss uh, Beverly. We made it, child. Thank y'all for ringing that doorbell. Thumbs up, like button that is. All right, now let me try to get out of here.